F cell. Hermes sandals! Yeah, we got another set of those. Excellent. Five thousand pig. X potion. Left to make some tea. That's so very British of you, uh, Dry Ken. What happened to Rango Bell and Anya's? Ah, you'll just have to play the game and find out. No, Anya's is still there, but she is, uh, she's busy being kidnapped. She's taking on the Princess Peach role of this game. Hmm, haven't figured as much. Another safety ring. So then the other entrance has to be on the other side. Okay. Not there. But is it down here? Oh, there it is. Hidden paths. My greatest enemy. Power bracers! Livius may drink a lot of tea, but that doesn't mean it's not a British stereotype. Nope, I know I've already played through Bravely uh, Default, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what happens to Ring a Bell. You'll have to play it and find out. Peach tea! I don't drink a lot of tea. I probably should drink more tea. I like tea. I like it a lot more than I like coffee. Coffee's bitter and not that great to me. It disagrees with my anus. Okay, yeah, that was a lie. I just wanted to make Windshriek scrumple her face again. You obtained the Grand Marshal's shield. This is it! The Grand Marshal's shield! It certainly looks stout enough to defend against anything, but... I know, I know, the task father gave me was too simple. There must be more to it than just finding this. Perhaps you should ask someone for a counsel. About the shield, I mean. Well, if you want to talk about shields, who better than Commander Goodman? Right, I was thinking of asking Commander Goodman's advice either way. But you're thinking you also want to give, get fresh ideas from someone less obvious. Exactly! Come on guys, help me think outside the box. Let's see. You could speak to someone who spends a lot of time practicing things, like traditions for example. Someone who protects tradition? Hmm, traditions, customs, a defender of the precepts of the past. This is all making my head hurt! Instead of standing there giving yourself a headache, let's visit Commander Goodman first. That sounds like a plan. Alright, gotta go get that last uh, treasure chest. You're using data, Silky! Don't use your data! Anus. <laughs> there you go, another ginger item. Perfect. Okay. There we go. That's done. So we gotta go talk to Commander Goodman, but we're gonna go to uh, Everlast Tower first. It's in this cave. No, that's not the cave. That's just the entrance. When did this become Overwatch? 
Well, unfortunately, Genji, or Genji, however you want to pronounce it, uh, has existed long before Overwatch. Way back when in Final Fantasy when they started adding it, adding it in, and I think Final Fantasy 3 was the first one to use it. Maybe. I don't remember it being in 2, but it could have been. Indeed, indeed. Your, your joke was not lost on me. I just felt like dismantling said joke. Oh wait, no, I have to go into- fuck! Hang on. I made a mistake. I gotta actually go in through. What? I can green, I can green text however I want. Shadow Drykan green texts every time he talks. Yeah, I remember. I can't land my ship though, it's being rude. How do I open that damn door? Oh wait, treasure. A lot of treasure. Elongenus. Well, that was worth a while. See? Shadow just green text again. No, NVIDIA, I don't care about your game ready driver. It's rude. No, they got it closed. I forget where the other where the entrance is to that place. Park your airship to the east. I'll figure it out eventually. At least I got a longinus out of this. It wasn't all for naught. That's right, this is the back entrance. That's how I got in here before, I don't know how I didn't remember that. Everlast Tower! That's how I got in here to get Gertablu. Earth Mallet. I got a stopwatch. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Indeed. Remedy! Hmm. 
Looks like there's probably a way to go through over there. Alright, I'll have to go back to that room and find it. I will have to do that. Why did they change the layout of this room? Of this building? It doesn't make any sense. Why is the fox just hanging out in that corner? We will never know unless we talk to it. Yip yip! You want us to take a survey? But what about our food? We have to do this before dinner, otherwise it won't mean anything. Okay, but what kind of survey? Well, let me put it this way. You drinks tea, but not coffee. Tiz and Idia both like coffee, but, but Idia has a serious sweet tooth. And so it goes for other food and drink. What you're saying is we all have different tastes. You two were arguing about food just the other day, weren't you? That's right. One of us is completely deluded and thinks steak should be served with ketchup. Well, duh. Everyone knows that. No, they don't. It's a travesty. Ketchup is for burgers and fries. Maybe Magnolia is onto something with this survey idea. We'll see. So, what do you want to know? All right. Question one. What do you put on your eggs? Oh, this is easy. Oh, I know. Hollandaise. It's got to be hollandaise sauce, right? Would you listen to Mr. Hoity Toity? Everyone knows it's ketchup. I'm fine with just a dash of salt and pepper. Sometimes I can't tell if your tastes are refined or just plain boring. Uh, no, no, he is absolutely right. Good, good point, sir. The answer is salt and pepper. And hollandaise. Um, moving along. Next question. Fried oysters. What do you put on them? Well, seafood, tartar sauce. End of story. You can't just lump all seafood together. The right answer is ketchup. And you, Tiz? Let me guess. Salt again? Oh, no. Soy sauce for oysters, definitely. Soy sauce? Where'd that come from? That's how Anya's taught me to eat them way back when. I admit, I thought it was kind of weird at the time. You don't say. Anyway, next question. Favorite style of ramen? Ooh, things just got serious. Okay, um... Uh, Skemen. Oh, no, 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 wait. Tonkotsu. Uh, uh, tonkotsu show you. Not El Campa noodles? Huh. Uh, that counts as ramen? Well, uh, no. I'm sticking with Tonkotsu show you. Well, I like miso. With butter on top, obviously. And a dash of vinegar, too, right? Tis exactly. Which means you're also... Sorry, I'm a salt man. I prefer a clear broth to a creamy one. What about you, Magnolia? Well, since I came to Luxendark, I've had a lot of ramen. And I mean a lot. And I like them all. Whatever the type, you can't go wrong with ramen. Hey, no fair. I'm changing my answer then. D, all of the above. Look, are we done? Because I am starved. I'll eat anything, as long as it's now. <gasps> yeah, me too. I'm feeling kind of lightheaded. I have to eat something. I don't care what. <laughs> oh, fuck. The words I was waiting for. Today's menu is Magnolia Special Boiled Meat and Spuds. Um, a la lune. Gosh, that sounds impressive. But what's a la lune? Lake and featureless. Huh? Did, did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't hide it any longer. I'm so sorry. It's a complete disaster. You remember how we put all our herbs and spices in one basket? Well, I must have dropped it somewhere. I've been waiting for you to say you're so hungry you'll eat anything. <laughs> <sighs> Why have all the sneaky tricks? <laughs> Meat and potatoes. They spent a lot of time talking about food in this game. Makes me hungry. For bacon. Specifically bacon. Hmm. 
Hmm. Perhaps that wall can be knocked down then. Alright. We'll figure this out one way or another. Bacon wrapped steaks! Oh, that would be amazing. With ketchup. AKA British cuisine. <laughs> I don't know, Shadow, is that a British cuisine? I tend to have steak sauce myself. I used to cook steak all the time, dude. Bacchus' wine. Ten thousand pig. I know intrigue. You obtained the Grand Marshal's sword. Sword Council! The Grand Marshal's sword! It's just as Father described it! Adia, is something wrong? No, it's just that this great task Father gave me. It was too easy, right? Yeah, exactly. I, somehow I don't think I'm finding the sword is all I'm supposed to do. But it is the Grand Marshal's sword. Powerful enough to cut down any foe, right? There's gotta be more to it. I need, like, someone to give me, uh, like, Prime Minister Dominus, for example. Why him? Because he has the intelligence to dominate anyone in the arena of ruling a nation. Er, he does? I think he'd be better off taking it to someone who has experienced a weapon as powerful as that sword. Someone with a weapon powerful enough to cut down the strongest of foes? Or, uh, I don't know, maybe someone more figurative. Someone with the ambition and talent to overcome anything. That sounds like a real shot in the dark. A shot. Of course! How about Sirius, the Sagita Elder? That's it, the SP Cannon! What could be more powerful than a weapon that can bust balls clearly out of the sky? <laughs> that makes sense. If we can get the chance, I'll definitely talk to him. Caramelized onions are amazing. I like certain gravies. Alright, we got some more treasures to get before I'm done here. Sometimes I wish I had a dash. Filet mignon. You know, I've never had filet mignon. Oops, why am I going up there? That's not where I want to go. My tastes are not refined enough to eat filet mignon, so uh, when I go to restaurants, they deny me access to it. What the fuck do I get in that room? Maybe it was over there? I don't care. What do you mean, thankfully? How can you say no? Can you get OXO in North America? What is OXO? Or OXO? Is that the gravy brand? If so, you can get it here. You know, I don't even care. I'll come back for this stuff later. Wait, hang on. I didn't go up the stairs. There we go. Yeah, oh yeah, we can get that. My dad used to make uh, 
gravy using uh, OXO packets. Or OXO, however you pronounce it. That's where I got guitar blue. Fuck that noise. I got a ripper. Oh man, that'll be great for fighting. Okay, hang on. Just so I don't forget. It's not the strongest of daggers? Well, maybe. It's not even that much weaker. It's strong against humanoid enemies. And you know we're gonna have to fight the, uh, the Templar, right? Like, there's, there's no getting past that. Temple of Earth! This place has been revamped. Hello, Crystal. I see you're all awake and stuff. Yeah, when she... I, I cut uh, alcohol out of my diet, too. Use a teleport gem, go talk to those guys, and then go meet father. This quest is long, I don't like it. You enjoy drinking too much? You did say that you like to go to the pub a lot there, Shadow, but I can't fault you for that. Nothing wrong with a good pub visit. Do I have to go talk to them? Where is Commander Goodman? Is he at his house? Probably. Lazy sack of shit. I don't think I have to even talk to them. If you go out with someone, you will drink? So you're only an alcoholic when you're in a relationship? Since he's banned you from drinking absinthe. Alright, that's fair. That's fine. I guess he's at the Eisen Bridge. <laughs> ah, I know. Let's go to the Eisen Bridge. Probably where he hangs out. It's his usual haunt. brings you back to Eisenberg. The shield bearers fought the sword bearers by building unbreakable defenses. So, is it better to rule a nation by the shield? In these past few years, you've faced a coup d'etat, civil war, and relentless attacks by the Empire. And yet, under your command, the shield bearers held strong and repelled every threat. Commander Goodman, I would hear from you how a ruler might best defend his nation. A weighty question indeed. I take it you are preparing to follow in your father's footsteps. Very well. Compared to the Duchy of Eternia, ours is a humble nation. But I will offer what advice I can. The defense of a country relies solely on the soundness and strength of its shield. No matter how many times it is struck, no matter how powerful the blows that rain down, it must not bend or buckle. It must absorb all harm so that no injury, no pain befalls the bearer. Now, this is how I built our shield. First, I drew a sharp line between the soldiery and citizenry. It is the former's duty to defend the latter. I saw to it that my men were provided with the strongest armor and stoutest shields, enough to protect them completely. 
So equipped, they could absorb every attack for as long as it took to exhaust our foes and sap them of the will to fight. This was the doctrine of the shield bearers, and now that of the Eisenberg army. Of course, some argue that our approach is too rigid, too simplistic. Why not put greater focus on offensive power or mobility? I myself once entertained such ideas, and I was not the first shield bearer commander to do so. Were we to divert more of our forces to the offensive, we could weaken the enemy's assault, relieving the burden of defense. But doing so would thin our defensive line and might even afford the enemy a way to break through. We have one duty and one alone, to protect the citizens of Eisenberg. An approach that would put them at risk, even were it to improve our efficiency, is not an approach I am willing to take. And even with the nation united, you will continue to mold the Eisenberg army into a defensive force? For as long as war troubles this world and peace eludes us, I will. A world without war is hard to imagine. I think we will always have need of a strong defense. It is my sworn duty to protect the people. I, for one, shall never lay down my shield. <sighs> so should I choose the shield? Shadow, that begs the question, though. Did you churn the butter yourself? Churning lots of butter, soon I'll make another! I like butter on my hamburgers. <laughs> Don't do that, Shadow. <laughs> Turn, my friends. A welcome sight. What brings you back to the home of the Sagitta? The SP Cannon has the power to annihilate any foe. If a strong sword is truly needed to rule a people, the Sagitta would know. I would seek your wisdom, Elder. And I would hope that I have the wisdom you seek, my child. You have in your village a super weapon capable of blasting balls clear out of the sky. Yes, I suppose we do. Well, I was just wondering, do you think you could still lead your people without that power? So you would follow in your father's illustrious footsteps, Idia Lee. I am a humble elder of a sleepy hamlet in the clouds. I fear my advice would have little value to one who would rule a great nation. But I will answer to you. Yes, the SP Cannon is a weapon with the power to destroy our mortal foe. Such power might seem excessive and unbefitting our small mountain village. And yet there are Baals everywhere, and they threaten not just our people, but all who live in this world. Left unchecked, these fiends would destroy humanity, and we have the power to stop them. Whether this power is essential to govern my people, I cannot say, but it is a power that I would be a fool to relinquish. But what if someone tried to use this great power for evil? What then? This is, of course, a danger. Why, even used in good faith, an artifact of such power can have unforeseen and terrible consequences. But if we rejected this power out of fear, then what would happen to this world? Our foes would still be there, and who would hold them in check? 
Who would hold when the balls in check? With an unrelenting foe, what responsible leader would not take weapon in hand and destroy them? Yes, those unrelenting hmm. balls. Your mind hears my words, yet your heart remains unconvinced. No, it's not that. It's just... It is all right, child. It is good to doubt. The question of how best to rule a nation is one with no easy answer. Maybe the sword is the answer. Yeah. Alright. So yeah, you talk about uh, energy and weight and such. Um, I started bench pressing uh, a few months back and was only able to do like 60 pounds. I was fucking weak. But I've doubled that and I'm doing over 125, 130 is what I'm working on. Um, I raise it every week or so. What the hell am I doing in that menu? Good time to reset this recording for the last little